The dance club that I was adjusted is actually a strip club. So, I mean, we're here. We might as well just go inside and see how it is. What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Successfully Unemployed. We just landed in Athens, Greece. And if you're watching this, then we have 24 hours to do as much as we can do. I hate masks. Always falling down. So we're gonna eat some good food. We're gonna see some amazing sights and we're gonna have some nice accommodations. So let's get started on this 24 hours. All right, so we just landed and we are going to the hotel first, just to freshen up a little bit. And then we're gonna head out and um, eat some food and see some sights real quick. So let me go and hail a taxi or Uber or something. And I guess he just dropped me off across the street from Hilton. So now I got to cross this busy behind highway that he left me on. So we made it through the hotel, freshened up, had to clean the teeth because after that flight, breath kind of funky. So we're going to try one of the best places to get Suvaki. And souvlaki is a staple in the Greece culture of food and it's almost as comparable to a euro. So we are going to go to the best place that makes it in Greece, according to everyone online. So I'm going to see if it's good. So we made it to Costa and the line is out the door. They make them fresh. So hopefully they are as good as everyone says they are because who else would be waiting in the line like this? So they actually sold out of all of them, which is sad. We are coming here tomorrow. So in the interim, we are going to go and get a Euro and start off at that one first. So it's not too far from here. It's like maybe 500 feet. So let's see how the Euro is stacking up against a Subaki. And then hopefully they still have some in stock. So we are here at Neo Classico to try their famous Euros. I'm excited for it. A lot of good reviews on TripAdvisor and everywhere. So we're going to see how this tastes and um, compare it to a Slovakia. <laughs> and compare it to a Slovaki. Look, at it looks phenomenal. Got a fork Euro, got some fries there. I'm not a big tomato person, but I'm doing it for the culture. So I'm going to record me eating tomatoes. The bread looks really fluffy. It looks like it's perfectly cooked, so can't wait to try it. Mm. It's really good. Not too salty. The pita bread is superbly soft. I mean, it's almost like it's pulled apart. It's like freshly baked. The salty here, not too heavy. Like, this would definitely fill me up. I, mean, I really do like it. This almost reminds me of the fat sandwiches you used to have at college. But uh, super juicy. Definitely recommend going here. I wish I could share. Actually, I don't. I don't want to share with you guys. This this euro is mad good. So you're burning off the calories. We're gonna go to the first spot. We're going to the stadium. A little bit of a walk from the uh, Neo Classico, but you know, again, burning off all these calories and carbs. Got some protein from here. So I'm hoping to have a good time at the stadium, maybe run around the track a few times. So we'll see you there. Hey, kitty. Hey. So we made it to the Panathinaik uh, Stadium. It is the stadium of the first modern Olympic Games. I mean, it is massive. I think it sits at least 6,000, 60,000 people maybe. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Um, it, it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, if you've never been in a stadium before, an Olympic size stadium is really, really, really scaling. Really, really, it's a lot, it's a lot. Whew, running up 
those steps really took a lot of energy, but the views from up here, I mean, it's really, it's really cool up here. And it's hardly anyone here, which is surprising. This is like mad cool to come to. But um, yeah, you have the whole place to yourself, basically. So I'm about to run on the track real quick, get a couple of gold rings or medals. That's what they do. Yeah, they do medals. Again, wow, the stadium is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's a good solo trip. You can go out there with your boot thing, have a step and sit down and, well, you can't eat in there, but some beautiful views. We're about to go to the Temple Hephaestus. It's in the main complex and it's still pretty early out here for me. So who knows what we might get into next? I mean, I, I do, but you guys don't, but hey, hey let, let, let's, go to, let's go to the temple. So it started raining while we was walking here. It's still bright outside, it's almost nighttime, but we are gonna make it to the Temple of Hephaestus. Um, it's probably one of the most intact temples here. So I can't wait to see it, you know, just to close out this day before we decide to get some, some dinner. It's pretty cool. It's, I mean, it's, it's old ruins, something that, you know, I like to see history, especially since I love Game of Thrones and Greece reminds me of that. So it was cool. I, I definitely suggest take the time, come out here. There's a big ground, just walk around, see the temple, but also read and everything and look at the sites. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. It's one of the best Greek dinner spots that you can go to. So I'm gonna have the tuna tartar with a masaka and a rosé. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's enjoy dinner and uh, let's continue this night. Oh, that's really good. Got the tuna tartar. It's looking it's looking really good. I mean, let's let's see how how good it is. That's pretty good. That it's really flavorful. It has a almost like a Middle Eastern flavor profile. Like I, I feel as though it's a little bit more. Mm, that is good. Like I, I feel like I taste some cumin in there, but. It's actually good. I, I would recommend getting the tuna tartar. This is mad good. As you can see, I ate everything. Get the tuna tartar here. You would not be disappointed at all. It is all gone. It was It was really good. I, I, I want to get another one, but I want to save some room for this moussaka. So the moussaka just got delivered. It looks, it looks good. It looks heavenly. Um, I can't wait to try it. Let's see how it tastes. This tastes. This tastes mad. <laughs> I wish it was a, a bigger portion. It seems. Oh my god. This tastes. Oh man. Let me taste another bite. Get some sauce in there. That's it. Get this. Get the moussaka from here. It is, it is super good. Oh man, it's mad good. Like, I want to share with you guys, but I don't want to share because it's so good. I just want to eat all of it, but 
come here for some unsaka. The meat is perfectly cooked. The eggplant is perfectly cooked. Like you can definitely know that they season it really well. I mean, I I want to have multiple servings of this. This is so good. I would definitely recommend it. It's perfectly cooked well. It's nothing else needs to be added to it. And they also gave me some ice cream. If this is really good. I would recommend for you guys to come here. It's definitely it. I mean, I, I, I would recommend it. It's pretty good. Pretty good place. And the food was amazing. Can't wait to dig into this ice cream real quick and finish off the night. I wasn't going to make another video, but this ice cream is good. <laughs> it's so good right now. So I really enjoyed that dinner. The moussaka was perfectly cooked. The meat was perfectly cooked. The eggplant was just the right consistency. I mean, it was it was really good. The tuna tartare had those Middle Eastern spices, which I was not expecting at all. And I would recommend, I would recommend Thaz, the creative Greek cuisine any day of the week. So if you're in the area, make sure you check them out. Um, Oh, hey, doggy. <laughs> so right now we're about to hit up a club real quick. Um, I didn't do much research on this dance club, so hopefully it's really good. But, um, you know, the night's still young. It's only midnight over here. So, uh, and it's still lively. So I'm just gonna hit them up and, you know, maybe get some drinks or anything like that. So we'll see. So apparently the dance club that I was suggested is actually a strip club. So, I mean, we're here, we might as well just go inside and see how it is. So, um, obviously I can't bring the camera inside, so I'll let you know how it is when I'm leaving. Peace. It, it, it was whack, it was whack. I, I, I wouldn't go back to it. I mean, if you want a better strip club environment, go to America. But, um, you know, if you're just trying to see half-naked lady dance and be offered sex all the time then yeah sure go ahead i'll drop the link of the place in the description below but other than that it's um yeah heading back to the hotel we're going to get some sleep and then we're going to finish off our 24 hours tomorrow seeing some amazing sights and having some amazing food so have a good night peace good morning fresh faced people this is day two of the 24 hours that we will be exploring Athens so today we're going to go to the Parthenon which is like the Statue of Liberty of Athens Greece so we're going to go over there get some good food as well and finish out this 24 all right see you So we just ordered a traditional Greek pie from Creme Royale, one of the best in the city, so let's see how it is. It's okay. All right. It's a little salty. Um, the bread is pretty hard, but it's flaky. Definitely will fill you up, but I probably won't get it again. So one of the reasons why I wanted to come here early in the morning is because there's literally no one else here. So you don't have to worry about tourists like me or kids or crowds it's serene it's calming out here so i would it's a long walk to the top so i'm out of breath but i would definitely recommend if you can to come here early in the morning or maybe late in the evening but you would not be disappointed So we made it to the Parthenon. This thing is, is, 
I mean, it's pretty awesome. We see it up close and in person, and you have amazing views of Athens. The only thing I don't like is that there's construction going on, but I know they're just trying to preserve it. So, hey, again, early morning, really don't have any crowds of people out here. And you can basically just do, not do whatever you want, but you know, you can go about, not feel washed or anything. And plus the sun is not out as hot. So I would definitely recommend to come out here. So let's just finish up some views and then we'll head off to the next location. So we still have a lot of hours in this 24. So right from the Parthenon, we are in the Roman Agora. It is an ancient city that was built here. So it looks pretty nice. It this is a little, it is included with your ticket. So definitely go walk around and explore it. So I'm going to explore it, you know, kill maybe like 15 minutes here. And then we're just going to head out. So we just left from Mokasas and we're about to have a Sulaki. Let's see if the hype is all this talk about and let's see if it's better than a Jaro. Alright, it's pretty good. It's really good. The, the hype was worth it the weight was worth it um the flavor compound got a, a lot of fresh basil in here the sauce is really good the pork a little chewy but it's flavored really well the bread nice and soft i would recommend this mm. it's good make sure you stop by all right, looking at the time, that concludes the 24 hours in Athens. If you have more time to be out here, definitely come out here. Spend maybe a weekend, four days at the most. But for me, I have a couple more days out here, but I was just showing you guys, 24 hours, you can actually do, see, and eat a lot. Let me know if you like this content, if you like the places I went to, or you would have suggested some other places. And if you think my food recommendations were good or no. But if you like this content, hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button as well till next country peace